I'm going to turn off the, the jets of the tub because I know it's, it's too hard to hear me. And um, I don't know, I've been up for about, I mean, I've been in the tub for about an hour. I've been up for about, you know, since about six o'clock in the morning. I went to bed at uh, one something right after the live. And this morning, I went to listen to something that apparently was going on while I was live, trying to support members of our community. And, you know, in trying to support members of our community, we have these auction sales where we let our community members go up there and sell stuff. And it's benefited them greatly. And I'm happy that I have a platform that I can help them out with that. So um, yesterday I was completely exhausted. So I wasn't myself with um, being that present on the panel. I mean, I was there, but I was literally falling asleep for the most part and a lot of it. And towards the end, I could barely keep my eyes open in which Jimmy had to try to go and, you know, spotlight people because I was falling asleep. And, you know, I left feeling, oh gosh, that was um, probably not a very good live and, you know, whatever. But I, I just hope that people got the benefit from it for themselves. But I didn't feel good about that. Went to bed, and then this morning, well, right before that, before going um, to bed, there is delusion, absolute, absolute delusion being spread on YouTube by a creator who is full of conspiracy and full of hatred and vitriol that I apparently have some kind of tracking device in real time on people. And, you know, as insane as this is to most of us rational people, and we kind of laugh at it and say nobody can really truly 100% believe that, this person is saying it is verified, it is a 100% certainty that this is happening, and is telling people about this conspiracy of hers that I am tracking people in real time. I know where they go at all times on YouTube, what channels they go to, what they say, their IP addresses, their emails, their addresses, um, all of this stuff. To the point that the people that she's spreading this conspiracy to are then going on other channels and spouting this as well as putting in the comments how they are so scared, they're going to report this to the police, this is a federal crime, I'm stalking and harassing these people. Um, I, I, I know why this creator is doing it. I know how she has used situations in the past that were not about her to vilify me because she has so much hatred and jealousy for me. But her demeanor when she's doing this, the hatred you can hear in her voice, the breakdown you can hear in her thinking, and the maliciousness you can hear as she tells them these are the receipts she tries to use, okay, her alleged license and position of alleged authority to tell them I would not be coming public with this information if I didn't know it to be 100% truthful. And this is said in the video. I have that video because it is slanderous, it is defamatory, and it is completely false. It is full of conspiracy and fraud and it is meant to harm and hurt this channel as she has tried to do in the past. So I want to get that out right away because as crazy and unhinged as it is, there are people spreading this 
as the truth because this person has used and emotionally manipulated these people so that some of them are believing that this is somehow true. I will say again for the record, none of that is true. I don't have tracking devices. I don't have chips implanted in people. I don't have a real life, um, real time tracking of anyone on YouTube where I know what channels they're going into, their IP addresses, their emails, their addresses, all of this baloney because that's what it is. And I will, and I am going to begin now. And we have already started a process of holding people accountable for this crap that they are spreading. And it is being reported. Because that is pure conspiracy and it's meant to harm. So that's the first thing I want to say. So I, I was, I addressed that a little before signing off last night. Could not believe what I was seeing. The other thing is this other channel, uh, this real clear one, posted a video of Ginger Baker, who's a drummer. And they're doing something in the video. I honestly didn't know who it was. Jimmy, of course, knew who it was, came to me last night. Here's the weird thing about it. J-Bells gave Jimmy a pair of drumsticks from, they were Ginger Bakers, or they're signed by Ginger Baker. Now, suddenly, this channel, which has ties to another channel, which say they're from the UK, and then this person now is saying they're from the UK. Meanwhile, they have videos that they, were, they took down where they were from Pennsylvania, have said, I stalked their mother, have said people should call CPS and should call the police. They posted this video. Now, I don't know if it's from a music video or whatever it is, but Jimmy told me it is about this guy, Ginger Baker, and he's trying to get into something or whatever. Well, this channel posted that clip and said, Mommy Ramblings attacked me, assaulted me, and put this clip up. Now, this person that is spreading that lie that I'm tracking people posted that on her community page, okay? Now, if you're trying to tell me that this person is a licensed psychologist and cannot see that that is not me, number one. This is a long track record of her using stuff she knows is not me or was not said about her, as in the sauce thing, and going on and saying, enough is enough, Caroline, Mommy Ramblings. You're going to get someone killed. Mommy Ramblings attacked this person, and she shares the video out over there. If I ever was doing this kind of stuff, I cannot even imagine the backlash and the outrage. But the fact that this person is parading around as a professional and basically putting my life and my family's life in danger because of these people that she is trying to sell them the idea that I am stalking and I am monitoring them. And now I am attacking people. Someone needs to stop me is what this says. And many of the comments right on the video where she puts this says that someone needs to stop me. I must be stopped. There are so many veiled threats between these three channels. And this would never be tolerated if it was anyone else, but because it's me, it's okay. I'm fair game. It's okay. And then, as if there's not enough hatred, 
While I was live last night, another channel went live with a sort of resolution. How can, again, I'm going to say, how can you have a resolution when the people are not present to represent themselves, nor have they agreed? And so this morning, I put on that video, which I had not heard, and my blood began to boil when I heard that I was being accused over and over and over that I told people to take their memberships away and unsub from a certain channel. And for the reason that I was upset that this person got up on someone's panel and gave them condolences for a loss. Number one, there's so much wrong with that. The condolences part, I was never concerned with. I didn't even see that video, okay? The next day or the day after, I don't know if it's two days after, when I and I was a member of this channel, went into that live chat to say hello. I was attacked in the live chat by people from the channel that the condolences were expressed to. Right in the chat, I was attacked, and the creator said nothing. That was my problem. My problem was not that they went on and gave condolences or sang. I didn't even see that video. My problem was that what was once a nice place, okay, that I recommended to ramblers, and a lot of ramblers were there who were attacked and felt the exact same way. And yet, these people that were attacking were not called out, their comments were not erased, and what's more is then that creator, the one that has attacked me relentlessly, came into that chat, and people from her panel who have attacked me wanted to get on the panel and I was told by this creator that's why they ended the live because these people were backstage and apparently they just didn't know what to do. Well, in the hours that after that video, it became very apparent what was going on. And at the next chat, the same thing happened. And people that had supported that channel were members of the channel were being run off by these other people. And it was obvious that the situation was being used to divide that community. And I made a video expressing that not out of hatred or anything and not telling anyone to unsubscribe. I was trying to show what this person did and invited that person up on the panel. And yet when I turned on the video yesterday, I was lied about. I was said, it was said that I told people to unsub from that channel, to take their memberships away from that channel, and I was infuriated. Now, according to someone that watched this, by the end of that video, okay, but we know the attention span of people that watch YouTube videos because I clicked it off. My blood was boiling. When I heard myself being lied about over and over and over and over again, okay, and nobody asked for my side of the story, and in the chat, all of these people from that other channel were there saying the most horrendous things, and it was, it was okay, um, I got out. I didn't listen anymore. And there's many people that don't listen anymore to that and then get an idea that, oh, that's mommy rambling. She lied about, um, you know, she told people to unsub and take memberships away from this channel because she was angry about so-and-so offering their condolences. Number one, it was never about the condolences. Number two, I never said that. I never said that. So when this person that had been spewing those lies and had been spewing them for days went back and was told to listen to my video, they came back and admitted, I did not say that.
but it's too little too late because there is no disclosure in the beginning of that video to say that what is being said is not true. And anybody listening to that will believe that is true about me as we know what happens on YouTube. So when I went into the comments to say that this is not true, now the comments are no longer there. They're turned off. So I had no voice during the video because I was live and I have no voice in the comments, but I have to have another video that's going to do nothing but continue this hatred. And there are already channels taking advantage of that video that support that other creator, the one that said that I was using my son's death for attention, the one that said I was using my son's death for attention, that support that channel that are saying now how terrible it was and it is sickening. So I have... I want to say to these channels, don't attempt to have a resolution for me when you know I'm not there. Don't allow people to talk or say what happened in one of my videos when apparently you hadn't reviewed it. And I say that to the creator too because the creator was agreeing with this person who said that I said this. So apparently neither of you had watched the video. And that's reckless. That's reckless. And I'm sorry, it is. And I have my family at danger. You know, we're in danger because of these lunatics. The ones that are saying we're attacking someone when it's Ginger Baker in the video. The people that are spreading that and saying that I'm dangerous and must be stopped, that I'm attacking physically another creator assaulting them. Ones that are calling for the police and CPS to be called. All of the supporters of that other channel supporting the person that's doing that to me, supporting the creator that's doing that to me. How can you be so blind as to not see that? And that's okay. Because it's me. Because it's me that they want to die. It's me that they want to be hurt. It's my family they want to be attacked. So it's okay. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. This is sick. It's twisted. And it is getting worse and worse. And that's all I have to say. Please. Don't speak for me. Don't pretend you know something about what I said because you don't. Listen to my videos because I don't delete them like other people. And I, I am just absolutely sick of this constant abuse, hypocrisy, double standard going on. Don't tell me about Save the Drama. Save the Drama is a an entirely biased channel. And they're biased for Natasha. Okay? They are not an unbiased channel. And all of her people are over in that real channel that is lying about me assaulting this person and showing a video of Ginger Baker and they're all joining in and they're loving it. Now you tell me how that's right, how they want peace or anything else. And this alleged psychologist lying about me that I have a 100% real-time tracking device created another channel to spread this conspiracy and then put in the community page on her other channel that I attack this person when it's Ginger Baker. And if she can't see that, then she needs to be evaluated, in my opinion, because there's something wrong. This is emotional manipulation, complete lies, spreading false narratives, and it's going to get 
someone hurt or killed. And that's all I have to say. And I'm going to get out of the tub and that's it. I mean, I, I am just so, so upset with all this. And, and you know what? If you stand by that and you think it's okay, well, then I, I guarantee you wouldn't feel that way if it was happening to you or your family. Goodbye now.